Is it possible to cheat during an online project exam? Is it possible to cheat on Lockdown Browser? Yes, it most certainly is. Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jim O'Hara, and I'm a New Jersey-based online tutor from Reddit, who as of 2022 has over 5 years of experience teaching students how to cheat on an online exam without getting caught, how to cheat on an online project exam, and just how to cheat on a project exam. I know many online exam hacks, online cheating hacks on an exam, and online exam cheating hacks teaching students how to bypass exam proctoring and how to bypass project exams. I regularly upload videos at least once a week relating to online class help, college and university life, my personal life, my life as an online tutor, my two adorable cats, and of course, live unedited videos of me taking online exams for other students, as well as commentary and irrefutable proof that I know how to cheat on an exam, how to cheat on a project exam, how to cheat in an online project exam, and how to cheat on an online project exam with your phone. I also know how to cheat on Lockdown Browser using a Lockdown Browser hack, fully explaining how to bypass exam Lockdown Browser so you can know how to cheat during Lockdown Browser. I have over 5 years experience helping students how to cheat on Respondus Lockdown Browser, how to bypass Respondus Lockdown Browser, how to cheat during Lockdown Browser with no mic, as well as how to cheat on Proctorio, how to cheat on Honor Lock, how to cheat during Honor Lock exam, and how to cheat during Browser Lockdown. Please feel free to text, call, or email me 24-7 if you would like to inquire about my Pay Someone to Take My Online Project Exam for Me services, my Pay Someone to Take My Online Class for Me services, and how to pay someone to do my homework for me services. Thank you for watching this obligatory search engine optimized intro video, and please enjoy this video. Thank you. Hey there students, it's your favorite project exam homework online class help tutor here. For those who are new to my channel, I'm a US-based award-winning academic tutoring expert that provides online academic assistance for American and Canadian university students needing help with their project exams, tests, quizzes, homework assignments, online classes, Excel projects, essays, research papers, discussion posts, and certification programs in a wide variety of subjects including math, science, business, humanities, English, engineering, social sciences, and computer programming. My full bio and contact links are in the description below. For this video, I'm going to complete a um, midterm exam for Calculus 1 for one of my students on the software My Open Math. Okay, some of the questions are show our work and some of them the answers only. And I'm going to show my entire thought process and the software and apps I'm going to use to solve for the problems. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, start. Okay, there are 13 questions. Let's start with question one. Limit calculator. Okay, 7 minus x, 5 plus 2x, 3 minus 11x, okay, 9 plus 7x, okay, x goes to infinity, using the software to compute this so it'll be much faster. Okay, 2 over 77. Okay, submit. Okay, question one's correct. Moving on. Alright. If it's continuous everywhere, then we must have m equals... Okay. 
negative 3. Alright. M times negative 3 minus 8 equals x, okay, we negative 3 squared plus 9 negative 3. Got it. Minus 5. Okay, and it's continuous everywhere. So solve for the value of m. m is 5. Alright. Alright, moving on. Vertical asymptote for the graph here. Okay. of x equals 10x cubed minus over x minus 5. Broke us into it. x minus x equals 5. Question four, evaluate the limit. Okay, four over plus four X. Four plus four X. Five minus 10 X. Got it. Negative two over five. Okay, great, correct. Question five. Was correct expression for dv dt? All right, dv equals um, eighteen pi r times dr dt okay I believe okay I believe this is the correct answer suppose the radius is expanding at a rate of 0 0.2 inches per second how fast is the volume changing with the radiuses it's 2.6 inches. All right. How fast is volume changing? Okay. Let's say y equals 18 pi five times r is 2.6 times 0 0.2 inches per second. Okay, good, this is correct. Okay. Derivative, um, the last one is correct. Okay, x seventh, x to seventh power each is x power. x to the seventh. To the x, got it. Now, let's see what this says. Let's 
a factor. Six is correct. We go on the question seven. All right. Okay. So find f of negative one. All right. F of x equals to x eleven times h x. F prime of x is equal to eleven x to the tenth power h x plus h x times x to the one power. Okay, f prime of one equals 11 negative one to the 10th power, h to the negative one plus h to the negative, h prime negative one, negative one to the 11th power. Okay. Negative one to the tenth power is just one. H to the negative one is three. H prime of negative one is six. Negative one to the eleventh power is negative one. Okay, I'm doing that on pencil and paper. Eleven one three plus six negative one. Great. More than halfway there. Okay, use a probability to find the derivative. Alright, um, let me use. Actually, no, I think I'll do this one. Derivative of f of x equals, okay, uh, let's see, to the third power, to the fifth power, e to the x power, let's see, Okay, good. Great. Question is correct. A and B are critical numbers. Okay. Critical points f of x is equal to just copy this here. All right. Third power. Second power. Five and seven. Okay. Now we need top is increasing or decreasing. Alright, so we now we use the command function monotone intervals. Okay, monotone intervals. Okay, decreasing, increasing, decreasing. Got it. Double check and verify. Okay, great. Number ten. 
tangent line. Okay. Time the command function. Tangent line of x, y. Let me just copy this down. Okay. At 5, 1. Let's copy this. Okay. Hmm. I put a comma and see if that will work. Okay, perfect. Cool. What is it? Oh, M is negative 1 over 10. And B is 3 over 2. Okay, great. Question 11. Find the derivative of this function. Okay, this should be easy peasy for my software. Yes. A smart tutor knows how to use shortcuts in order to get the right answers. So they don't waste valuable time trying to solve it by hand. I'm like, why do that when you can just use software to compute the solutions in just seconds? Sorry, I forgot the comma again. Okay. Let's copy this. f of x, f prime of x, 2 pi. Okay, 
13 out of 13 answered, 101 out of 101. Okay, so I got a perfect 100% score on this Calculus 1 exam, midterm exam, on my open math. Okay, well that concludes this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch me complete this um, midterm exam for Calculus 1 on my open math for um, one of my students. All right, um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all next time.